What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Cass here, the voice of UKW, and we are here for episode number six of the Around the World podcast. So we're going to get into this. We're going to have reviews for Monday Night Raw. We're going to have our weekly review match, as well as we're going to talk about Backlash and what we think is going to be a good pay-per-view in King and Queen of the Ring. Now, I know I'm saying we, because net over the next couple of weeks, I don't know if he'll be here next week, but the week after that, definitely, we'll see Valente come back. But he's going through some moving stuff right now. He's moving, so we are. Um, he's not going to be in any episodes of Renegade or Around the World. So I'm going to be flying solo for this, and I might Dakota might be in for the Renegade commentary. We're going to have to see about that. Check in Friday to figure all that out. So... First, let's get into Backlash, because that's the canonical order of things. Backlash France was a phenomenal crowd. A phenomenal crowd, and I know everybody's talked about it. A phenomenal crowd that started off with a, a big match with um, Orton and Owens and uh, the Bloodline. The crowd was hot for that match. We're hot for Randy Orton. Uh, the debuting of Tamaloa was big. The former Camacho coming back. That was I was big. The the reuniting of the Gorillas of Destiny from New Japan and Ring of Honor. So it's good to have G.O.D. versus the Usos. That's something I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to. Uh, kind of a dream match there. As far as the winners for those matches, it makes sense for the Bloodline. To win. Interference with Tyler Maloa makes sense. Keeps Randy and KO strong. That makes sense as well. Um, uh, Cargill and Bianca won the tag titles. Happy with that. Jey Uso didn't claim the World Heavyweight Championship. Which I kind of figured they're wanting to build up Priest. Kind of some inklings of a Judgment Day breakup there at the end. But who knows. And then... Cody and AJ, which the crowd were continuously hot for. And AJ put in a good effort. Cody got the win, though. AJ busted out a lot of moves. He busted out the springboard 450, who he, which he hasn't hit in a while. So it's it's good to see AJ can still go up to that level. So Backlash backlash was exciting. I really enjoyed Backlash. Um... I will say, though, I felt like the crowd really elevated the matches. The matches were made better by the crowd, which is what you want in a wrestling show. You want the, the matches to be made better by the crowd's involvement. So, that I'm happy with. Now, we're going to get into Monday Night Raw, which was the start of the King of the Ring tournament, which is going to happen in Saudi Arabia, I believe, in a couple of weeks. Let me check the official date, guys. I will get right on that but um the king of the ring tournament is started off with Dame, uh drew mcintyre being announced as not being on the show so he was pulled from the king of the ring tournament and replaced with drew mcintyre i mean fuck replaced with jay uso jay uso replaced drew mcintyre and it's going to take place may 25th so that is in a couple of weeks i was right so it is going to take place in a couple of weeks and he was replaced, um, Drew McIntyre was replaced by Jey Uso, who beat Finn Balor and will move on to the actual, the actual bracket of the King of the Ring tournament. Uh, because right now, I believe they chose eight for each, so that's 16 and six, uh, no, if they chose, hold on, if they chose eight for each, that's a 16 man tournament. Yeah, that's what I was trying to say. Because they're doing the eight qualify I think they called them qualifying matches but really that's just the first round you could say that too either way you wanted to look at it but oh no they didn't call it qualifying matches huh okay I was happy with that see what I was happy with was Balor coming out thinking he was gonna get a first round bye didn't get it I was happy with that that um that I thought made Balor's heel character really and I I like I love the idea of him building up the king becoming the prince. That was, I mean, the prince becoming the king thing. That was kind of cool. I don't know how far Jay's going to go in this tournament, being he initially wasn't even meant to be in it. So we're going to have to see how that goes as well. But 
I could see Gunther winning it. Ilya and Ricochet had a hell of a match. I could see Ilya winning it. There's a couple of guys I could see winning it. And a couple of guys from SmackDown. Um, I believe the SmackDown King of the Ring got announced, if I could pull that up. But either way, Raw was, Raw was really good as far as... How everything went. Um, they're actually gonna hold some King of the Ring matches, some first round matches on live events, which um makes things for those live events really must see, I think, and kind of big up more stuff on live events, which they should be they should be wanting to do, you would think. They would want to give people more incentive to go to live events. So here, these are the official matches for the SmackDown side of the bracket this Friday. Styles and Orton, Corbin and Hayes, Knight and Escobar, Lashley and Tomatonga. So, I would love to see Carmelo Hayes represent SmackDown. I'd love to see AJ Styles, try, King Styles. I'd love to see him try to recommend SmackDown. Orton would be cool. LA Knight would be cool. The Knight becomes the King. Uh, Tomatonga would be cool. Bloodline. He'd, that all of those, all of those sound really cool to me. So, th that's just talking about the King of the Ring tournament. Now, there's guys, there's guys when you look at your own paper, you're like, I don't know if this guy can win it or this guy could win it. But you're all wondering about who can win the King of the Ring tournament. So, it's like, it's a big if, when, but, maybe type thing. So, it's all going to be something we have to see so we're gonna have to see how that how that goes on how the king of the ring tournament fares out how everything happens um in saudi now let's get to the queen of the ring so he starts had a good match against um crap so he starts had a good match against oh crap I remember Starks, she won her match. But their their match was really good. I liked. Uh Ivy Nile. Ivy Nile. I, it came to me before I was able to look it up. But it was Ivy Nile. And they had a cool match. Um The Queen of the Ring, though, is, is something I'm looking at. I like Laya Valkyria. I don't know if she's gonna win it, but who knows? There's a couple of people in there that I like in the world that win it, but Live Valkyria is kind of my pick right now. And then Zoe Stark, I really like that match with her and Ivy Nile. Like I said, I think for as far as King of the Ring, Queen of the Ring, my picks for King are probably either Ilya Gunther or um, Carmelo. I kind of like Carmelo from SmackDown. If a SmackDown guy is going to win it, it's either going to be him or LA Knight are going to win it on SmackDown, but I really do think a Raw guy is going to win it. So, with all that being said, our recommended match for the week was actually Kurt Angle and The Undertaker and from 2006 at No Way Out. Yes. Uh, 2006 No Way Out. We were requested to react to this for our match this week and read it. Uh, I watched it. It was good. Uh, it's got our second slot right now. I'm gonna go ahead and re go over those with uh, with y'all right now. Number one is AJ Styles, Christopher Daniels, and Joe. That's got a 4.25. That's from Unbreakable. We've got Taker and Kurt now from No Way Out, which is four stars. We got Flair Michaels from WrestleMania 25, uh, with 3.75. I mean WrestleMania 24 with 3.75. And we got Murphy and Roman from SmackDown with three stars. Continuing, uh, bottoming it out the list. So, that's where the rankings fall. As far as the match goes, I thought it was a great match. I thought the submission counters were something that I really didn't expect to see from Taker. And was really happy to see. The energy it felt like Taker had, I was really excited to see as well. It was just all about how he acted. And how he himself he still had that athleticism the speed that you expect from an, a 2000 undertaker match was there all of that I, I mean i was really i was really happy to see all of that um as far as all the other stuff goes taker um 
ended up losing from a front flip cradle, which I thought was really cool by Kurt to pull off. And Taker being in that position, getting the three count on him, I think was a really good match. And even though Kurt in the position he was in in the 2000s with all of his drug addictions and stuff was putting on some incredible matches. I guess that's the whole phrase per perk angle for a reason is because he was really putting on some amazing matches in the 2000s when he was on all that stuff so and then go, to go in there with an all-time great like the undertaker in especially seeing as i was a wrestling fan with takers the last couple of years and never really getting to see peak taker having unless having to go back and watch it this is one of the better undertaker matches i've seen and that's because he was in a ring with a guy like Kurt Angle, who is re widely renowned as one of the greatest professional wrestlers of all time. So, um, I understand that we were running a little short. We're at 11 minutes right now, so we're going to hop in and do a quick Sporkle quiz for wrestling. So, I'm going to find one, and we're going to do that special edition on the podcast. Because we ran out of little stuff to talk about, and I don't have somebody to throw stuff back and forth with me to communicate about stuff. So. We're going to jump to a Sporkle quiz. I will see you guys in a bit. All right, everyone. We are going to get into this. So we're going to start this quiz. In case you are wondering, these are WWE champions. All the WWE champions. So let's get into this. Let's go. Orton. Cena. JBL. Uh, Triple H. Michaels, uh, Michaels, oh shit, Michaels, boom, turn that off, uh, Hart, uh, Austin, Austin, Brock, um, Bruno, would that give me San Martino? No. Sam Martino, Dub, uh, Morales, Morales, shit, they do it sometimes, um, Rogers, Rogers, Buddy Rogers, yep, okay, um, Hogan, Hogan, Warrior, Chip, Savage, I'm trying to think of guys older era, because I'm going to be able to get all the newer ones, um, shit, okay, 2000s, Foley, Jericho, 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 uh, Big, Big Show, okay, who's 2000, Kane, Undertaker, Undertaker, you know, I do one. Who remembers uh, Is there? Are they gonna count? Uh, Andre. Nope. Uh, Ted. Nope. They're not gonna count Ted. Fuck. Uh, Shiki. Shiki baby. Um. Yo, Kozuna, 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 okay, mm. so, who would be next, who is Big Van Vader, nope, who is Sid, 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 yep, who is Nash, Diesel, yeah. Who is Backlund? Backlund. 
Bob. Bob Backlund. Bob Backlund. Is it Backlund? Bob Backlund. No, I feel like I'm spelling that right. I, I I just I know that I know it's Bob Backlund's on this list, so I'm gonna get the spelling as well as Pedro Morales. Bob Backlund. Okay, it's you. Okay, Bob Backlund as well as Pedro Morales. Okay. Boom. Okay. So who beat Bruno? There's no way. Billy Graham. Superstar Billy Graham. Duh. Okay. 73. Fuck. Ted. D. Ted DiBiase. Okay. D. I. I don't know if it's an official reign, but I know that Andre gave DiBiase the title. Yeah, that's, see, they gave it to me. That's a technical one. All right, we're going to have to start getting these, these, new, these new ones because, oh, fuck, I didn't even mean to get that one. Rollins, Ambrose, Reigns. Reigns. Fuck my G's not registering. Reigns. Styles. All right, guys, we actually had a bit of a bit of a power surge, so we're gonna get back into this. Hopefully, it'll let us uh resume here. Oh shit. Uh, we're gonna um. We're gonna look at this. See, I would have got something. Some of the most of these guys. But we're gonna read look at this and maybe go to a different different list. My bad guys. Alright guys, so we did WWE Champions, and since that list messed up, we're gonna hop into IC Champions. So the first one is the creator of the Royal Rumble. And I'm actually I'm actually really glad I know this. Patterson. Okay, um Let's go Warrior. Warrior was I see champion. Okay, this is counting all of them. So Triple H, Miz, Jer Jericho, uh, the my favorite of all time, Christian, Cri Christian, Edge. Let's go, Sean. Oh, I might. I'm. I'm a, Wait, he, they might take Sean. Sean, Sean, Sean. No, they're not going to take Sean. Michaels. They'll take Michaels. Michaels. Boom. Um, let's think Naka. Mora? Naka Mora. Um, Zane? Zane. Gunther? G Gunther. Gunther. Um. Kofi? Wait, I'm talking. Kingston. Hawk? It has been their continental champion before. Who else? Uh, I'm missing a lot. Z the Ziggles? Ziggler? Uh, Ryder. Hmm. Truth. Our oh, truth has not been in a kind of champion. Who is Ken? Uh, Sham. Boom, Ken Shamrock. Rock. Austin. Austin. 
Owen from Heart. I guess Brett and uh, Umaga. Yeah. Hard D. Yeah, she party. Okay. Strowman. Sheamus. No, Sheamus has not been an eternal champion. That's kind of a big thing. Yeah, but we came right back. Right back. Uh, who is Luke Harper? Fucker. Uh, Luke Seth. Seth. Luke Seth. Okay. Um. So, uh. San. Oh, re. La. Marella. Boom. Okay, okay, okay. We gotta think of intercontinent oh, roads. 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 Yeah. RBD. Mister. Rio. Stereo. Budica Budica. Ray. Mysterio. Mysterio. Boom. Oh, okay. Swagger? Swagger? Nope. Cliff. Uh, was Booker? T. Booker T, Booker T, Booker T. Yeah, it did get me for Booker T, okay. T, and about. Roman? Ray? Reigns? Reigns. Rain. Reigns. Boom. And Bros. Rollins. Owens. Okay. Uh. Shit. Who did Gunther beat for the title? Who did Gunther beat for the title? Apollo. Apollo. Oh, the cruise. Who did Gunther be for the title? Ricochet. Ricochet, bam. Now, who did Apollo be for the title? Who did Apollo be for the title? Who did Apollo be for the title? Big E. McIntyre. I know I'm butchering these names, guys. I'm so sorry. McIntyre. Bam. Uh. Yeesh. With the. Barrett. Uh, Jackson. Ezekiel Jackson. Bam. Okay. Who else has been Intercontinental Champion? Who else has been Intercontinental Champion? I feel like I'm missing a lot of names here. Okay. Who would have been Intercontinental Champion? Orton? Did I already do Orton? Orton. Cena hasn't been Intercontinental Champion. Who else am I missing? I've already done Edge. 
it's the 90s that I'm really fucking up. The uh, gun? The gun? Dog? The road dog? I feel like I'm really tripping here. I'm not gonna get any of these. This, uh... uh warrior. Oh, well, fuck, I already did that. Man. Honky Tonk Man. Um... Uh, rude and then rude rude Bobby Rude was never a guy out champion okay who beat bad news bear in 2015 uh, Axel uh, Axel. Axel. Boom. Now, who beat Bear? Who the Ryback beat? I feel like that was Seamus. But I know his big deal has never been an Intercontinental Champion. So who did Barrett lose to that then beat Ryback? And then that same tune. Who did Ambrose lose to? Oh, God. Got 45 seconds. And I'm just I'm blank. I'm gonna just throw out some names. Oh, I didn't think so. Mm. Maybe? No. Savage, maybe. Oh, fuck. Boom. Okay. Looks like we're just going to head out here. Okay. Daniel Bryan. Oh, fuck. Okay. Shelton Benjamin makes sense. Carlito makes sense. Jeff Jarrett. I missed that whole thing. I would have never got these. Mr. Perfect. I should have fucking got Mr. Perfect. Razor. Jeff Jarrett would have got me a lot. AJ Styles. I think it's Styles. I should have got Bauer. JBL, I didn't get JBL either. Regal. Big show. Benoit. But, hey. Yeah. Uh, I see where my mistakes were made. Anyway, guys. That's going to be it for the podcast. I did some extra quizzes just to extend it. I'll see you guys in the next video. This has been your boy Cats. I'm out. Bye, guys.